Whether you're looking to slide into the DMs or grow a business, Instagram is one of the best tools of our generation as men. I often like to compare it to the modern day business card for anyone under the age of 25. When you meet someone new, you can almost always get a sense of who they are based on what their Instagram is like. It is so important to have a good Instagram profile and having a bad profile can hurt your chances of success on social media. Let's build you an amazing profile. First, you need to pick a theme for your profile. For most guys, you will probably choose lifestyle, but you may want to consider having a sub niche that aligns with your goals for the profile. If your goal is to be able to DM girls and get responses every time, having your theme based around travel would be a great niche because most girls love to travel. If you're a personal trainer trying to get more clients, fitness would be a perfect niche for you. Some examples of good sub niches include fitness, cars, health, sports, or travel. Next, you're going to want to clean up your current profile. No matter what type of profile you're looking to create, there are a few rules that you should follow. First, archive all photos of you drunk or at a party. Let's face it, no one looks good when they're hammered. So it's probably a bad idea to have photos of you drunk when your Instagram should be showing the very best side of you. Next, archive all old photos of you that make you look young. Whether it's a business prospect or a girl that you've DM'd, having photos that make you look like you're still in high school will really damage your look on social media. If you want to be treated like a man on social media, show yourself in a serious manner. If you want to be treated like you're still a boy, keep all of those photos of you holding red solo cups from freshman year of college. And for all your other photos, archive them if they don't follow the principles that I talk about later in the video. The final goal is to have three to nine amazing photos that perfectly align with your profile's niche. To have an amazing profile, no matter what your niche is, there are a few universal principles that you should always follow. First, in all of your photos, I want you to start looking away from the camera. Look at these two profiles and tell me which one is more aesthetic. Obviously the profile with the guy looking away from the camera. When you look directly at the camera, it's like you're saying, Hey over here, look at me! When you're not looking at the camera, it gives the impression that you were doing something cool or interesting and someone just happened to get a picture of you doing it. It gives you a nonchalant look and makes you come off as a little mysterious. Going directly against this first rule, you also want to have one or two pictures of you looking directly at the camera. I like to call these comfort photos. In your comfort photos, you want to take them with family or close friends, and you should be smiling. The point of comfort photos is exactly what it sounds like, to add a level of comfort to your profile. If every single one of your photos is of you looking away from the camera, your profile may come off as a little cold or unfriendly. A picture of you and your parents smiling adds a nice element to your profile and shows depth in your personality. Next, for all of your photos, try your best to take these in exclusive or high-status places. A profile with pictures taken in all different cities is a lot more interesting than one just highlighting the sights in your hometown. Building your profile up may take a few months, but it will be well worth it in the end. And if you're unable to afford a trip abroad, go around your current location and find the nicest places. Even smaller towns will typically have a few nice restaurants or hotel lobbies. Take pictures here and post them over the next few weeks. Remember, your Instagram profile should be a compilation of the coolest few moments of your life. It's basically just a highlight reel showing off the very best side of you. But you may still be wondering, well how do I actually get cool photos of myself? First, you're going to need some inspiration. Go to Pinterest and start finding some pictures that you'd like to recreate. Don't copy them 100% because it will look unnatural, but use them as a good guideline to base off of. Next, start asking your friends to get pictures of you when you're out doing things. If you're out at lunch with a friend, ask him to get a picture of you sitting across the table. An even easier way of doing this is to pair up with a friend who would also like to improve his Instagram and start getting photos of each other all the time. You can even have days where you both go around your city with the intention of getting awesome pictures for your profiles. The very best time to do this is when you're traveling because it opens up tons of new opportunities for unique and interesting photos. If you don't want to ask your friends to get photos of you, or you don't have any friends, go watch my video on how to be more social. You can also use a tripod or just prop your phone up. These photos usually won't come out as good, but if it's your only option, it will do the trick. Here are some great examples of photos you can take by yourself. And the final step to getting great pictures is letting your personality shine through. Iman Godzi does a great job of this, specifically with these sorts of pictures. Remember, it's your own page so you want to have fun with it and put your own spin on things. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.